This is a Classic Physique Division comparison of epic proportion. Urs Kalachinsky and Chris Bumstead. And this is absolutely going to be a comparison that we will see on the Olympia stage. And it's going to be exciting, guys. Of course, last year, Urs, or Urs if you like to call him, Urs Kalachinsky, he placed fourth. He placed fourth. And if you're taking note, he placed under Brian Ansley, and he placed over him at the Arnold Classic, and he improved again here at the Boston Pro. He looks awesome, guys, and he stands up very well against the champion. Let's see how, just how well he stands up against him. Now, sizing these guys, and I know I do say this quite often, but it is it is a it's a venture. Of course, Urs, or Urs, he's he's listed at 5'9", and Bumstead 6'1", most places I look. And when you look at the video comparisons of them side by side, they look like this here, what you see here, this comparison. If you don't believe me, go look. Tominator has some video footage of the two. And I'm telling you right now, guys, Kalachinsky, maybe he steps forward. That's an old Kevin Lavroni trick. Makes you look bigger, makes you look taller. Who knows? Either way, this guy is loaded with muscle. Now, it is the men's classic, so maybe they they place more emphasis on the upper body. Could be. <laughs> Who knows? Look at the lats on Bumstead. Arms? I don't know, though. That's pretty close. Go to the front lat spread. Wow. Bumstead all the way. All the way. Not a very good shot of Kalachinsky. Boom, there's this one here. Not as clear as a shot. Pan back, but he's facing forward. You can see the silhouette of the lats. He does look awesome. But Bumstead is... This is next level type development in the lats. That's unbelievable. Well, not so much development in the lats. Just V-taper. Unbelievable. Now, yeah, the lags. And I'm telling you guys, look at the side-by-side -side footage. The lags, the, the wheels of Urs... They're huge. They're huge. But those cuts, so deep for the champion, Chris Bumstead. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Bumstead, no doubt, taking this front lat spread. Close in that front double, though, telling you. Turn to the side here. And you often hear people say, who will be the man to finally topple Chris Bumstead and take his title? Well, that man could be hiding in plain sight. Could be Urs. Kalasinski or Urs Kalachinsky. I don't know, though. There's a lot of Canadian man meat. This big, thick man Canadian chest of Chris Bumstead. I think he's taking out the German. Could be. Could be an international match up here. Big old arms on the bum man. I would say beyond the shadow of a doubt. Taking Urs in the side chest. Let's see who's winning in the back development, though. Again, I am so impressed with the lower half of Kalachinsky. It's pretty much unbeatable in this comparison. And again, you will have to take a look at the side-by-side -side video footage of these guys because those wheels, and they're even bigger here at the Boston, for sure. So much more conditioned here at the Boston as well than he was at the Arnold's Classics. Come on, get to the chopper. It was uh, Kalachinsky. I'm telling you right now, guys, this could be the man <laughs> to take out the bum man. Now, back for back. And condition as well. Well, he's not beating uh, Kalachinsky. Kalachinsky's peeled here. But back for back, Bumstead still winning. So hanging on to a victory with similar condition, of course. Finish this one off. We don't have a most muscular. We have a nice little back shot to finish this one off, I guess. But this is the abs and thigh. And Kel surprise to a lot of people. How good? Ors. Well, Ors is, is a bear. They call him the bear, right? The German bear or something like that? Sun bear? No, maybe not. But uh, in French, Ors is le bear. Le Ors. And he is le peel in the le abs. And looks tremendous in those lace wheels as well. Telling you guys... He could sneak in a victory over Bumstead. Nobody's even paying attention. <laughs> could be far-fetched, though. And this is the back shot that I promised. 
finish this one off with a nice classical shot. As they do, as they do. So is Bombstead still doing enough to fend off this perhaps improved version of the young bear, the young German buck? I would wager to say yes. Bumstead, he was definitely winning. The upper body, the lats, the front lats bred. The torso in that front double, outstanding. Definitely the man in that side chest as well. What a beast, guys. And yeah, yeah, he's losing in the size of the legs. But when you look at those fine, deep cuts, oh, all the way to China. I'm telling you, those cuts all the way through, right to the other side of the hamstrings. Wow. Very impressive, guys. He will reign supreme, reign as champion for many years to come, I am sure. Will be exciting to see somebody, somebody stand up to him and defeat him. Could be Urs. Urs. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel.